Hi guys, Mr. Johnson here, and today I'm going to talk about putting together our cardboard landscape sculpture project. So we talked about all different kinds of landscapes, from seascapes, uh, underwater oceanscapes, mountains, jungles, forests, desert, fantasy landscapes, outer space, farms, buildings, cities, anything you like. Uh, your first step for this project should be to sketch out your plan for your landscape. So this is my sketch, and I've done some mountains in the background with some uh, clouds and uh, a moon in the sky, then some hills in the middle ground, and then these rocks and cacti here in the foreground. So your sketch needs to have a clear foreground, middle ground, and background. Once you've done this, it's time to start making your sculpture out of cardboard. So what you're going to do is collect any kind of cardboard that you may have, uh, whether it's pieces of you know cardboard boxes if you've gotten a package in the mail, or if you take you know a, a box from a, a food product or cereal box and uh, cut that apart, because on the inside of this printed box is nice smooth cardboard. Any of that is great to use, whatever you have at home. You're going to need a few pieces. One piece will be your backing. This is what you're going to glue everything else on. You don't have to do anything to this. You just need it, and uh, we're going to set it aside. doesn't matter what you use as your backing. You can take any type of cardboard you have available. Even the inside panel of one of these boxes, if I were to just cut out this single panel, that would make for a great backing board. So I'm going I'm to use this one, and I'm going to set it aside. Now what I'm going to do is look at my sketch and start by choosing the objects in the background. I'm going to use the background first. So that would be my mountains, right? And then, of course, the clouds in my sky. So what I did here is I uh, drew my uh, mountains again on a, another piece of cardboard, right? So they're, they're going to be these guys. And you want a piece of cardboard that's going to fit onto your backing piece. So I'm using two different types of cardboard so that you can easily see the difference on camera. It doesn't matter if yours is exactly the same. That's totally fine. So you've got your background, uh, your backing board, sorry, and then the first piece of your background right here. Now, something that's going to be important is for you to continue this all the way down to the bottom of your board. And this is because as we add each layer, they're going to physically overlap what's on the background. So I've started to cut out the next layers of my ground. If you look at my sketch, the mountains are all the way in the background, and then I have these different layers of hills here that move progressively forward. So what I've done is I've cut those out of other pieces of cardboard, and those will layer on in front. And I have the next one and the next one and so on. And as we move forward, you'll see that they're actually making the sculpture more 3D. All right, so that's what we want. But the only way to do that is to continue each of these all the way down to the bottom of your board. So once you have this, we can start gluing some pieces together. So you can use just any kind of glue for this. You know, if you don't have a, a bottle of Elmer's glue, a hot glue gun, a, a, a glue stick will work just fine. If you're using glue, you don't need to use too much because cardboard sticks really well to other cardboard. So... I'm running glue around the edge. I'm not going all the way to the edge of the cardboard because I don't want this to ooze out the sides. Uh, and I also kept the tip of the bottle touching the cardboard. This prevents you from getting big globs, but glue like this is plenty. So now I'm gonna line this up here with the bottom of my board and make sure that it all lines up. When you glue it on, you'll have to press it on for uh, just a few seconds. That way you make sure that it really attaches. So I'm going to make sure I, I really, really press this on. Excellent. So now my first layer is ready to go. No, it's not. Now it is. First layer is ready to go. Now to get some of the details in these mountains, what I'll be doing is drawing out some of these individual shapes and cutting them out of some other pieces of cardboard and layering them on. Once I've done that, I will start to take my individual hills and add those and then end with the little cacti, cactus pieces and those uh, front rocks in my, in my design. So this is how you're going to start. Remember, each piece you'll cut out of cardboard, glue it right on so that you overlap them. It physically gets larger. Uh, this is one that I've done a lot on already. You can see that it's really 3D on the sides. I've started building up my designs. Uh, to create this 
type of texture. I took a piece of corrugated cardboard. Corrugated means it has these ridges on the inside, if you can see them. And I just peeled the top layer off. So if you want that look, you can go in and just peel back layers on the top, if I can get it to do that. Well, this one isn't working. Of course not, right? For my example video, why would it work? But I'm just going in here and peeling layers off to give that, those ridges. It would be great if it actually worked on camera, but I didn't test this part out before I did it. But I promise you can just peel the cardboard off and get that rippy texture. So that's all I did to create that look. Um, if you need help working with your cardboard, just let me know and I'll be very happy to help you. And if not, I can't wait to see what you come up with.